We're back with the low tier wheel. Today we've got C, D, and F tier Pokemon to spin for. We've also banished Radiant Greninja and Radiant Charizard to the S tier so that we're encouraged to use some of the lesser loved Radiant Pokemon. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you smash the like button and show some support in the comments. So LDF and I will continue bringing you more videos like this. All right, here we go. Time to spin the wheel. Curious to see what we're gonna get this time around. Here we go, let's spin it. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? It lands on Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Time to spin that wheel and see what we're working with. Gyarados EX. Could have been better, could have been worse. So yeah, it's Gyarados EX this time. Here is the Surfing Pikachu VMAX deck I have come up with to take on Celio. Surfing Pikachu VMAX is a Pokemon that is a lightning type but needs water energy to attack. In order to build that up, I've decided to play Tasagiri's first attack here, which allows you to put two basic water energy onto one of your benched basic Pokemon. So we can use this attack to power up our Surfing Pikachu. With Tasagiri, we can also play Dundozo that does have the attack release at range that does 50 damage for each Tasagiri in the discard pile. So we can do that to try to build up um, more damage. We also have the single prize Articuno. Since Surfing Pikachu's attack does do spread damage, it does 160 damage and then 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We can actually play Radiant Alakazam, try to manipulate some of that damage, take some cheeky knockouts along the way. Yeah, this is Surfing Pikachu VMAX deck I've come up with here. Let's try it out. I haven't played this card in a very long time and uh, it never worked with Frostmoth, which is one of the things about it. So I thought, hey, well, I was gonna play with Kragonol, and I was like, well, there not there a Tassigiri that actually just might be perfect? And indeed there is. So let's see if we can beat Celio this time with our Surfing Pikachu VMAX deck. Gyarados EX was a challenge to build a deck for because the Tyrannical Tail attack costs five energies, and the most practical way to get energies onto Gyarados EX is probably Palkia V-Star, but we're not allowed to use S and A tier Pokemon. Palkia V-Star was out of the question. Because of this, I went with the Vitality Spring Blastoise. Once a turn, you can search your deck for up to six energy cards, attach them to your Pokemon, and then end your turn. So this isn't ideal because you do have to end your turn, and Blastoise is a stage two Pokemon, but it's the best I could come up with for using Gyarados EX. Because Gyarados EX's Tyrannical Tail Attack does more damage if the defending Pokemon already has damage on it, I thought that using Halucha for its flying entry ability and Alakazam for its painful spoons ability would be a really cool combo. Combo. And since we're spreading some damage around already and we're a water deck, I figured why not toss in Crabominable V. Crabominable V's Destroyer Punch does 90 plus 60 more for every damage counter on the active Pokemon. So if we just get a few damage counters on there, we could really be doing a lot of damage. I'm excited to try out this new Terrastalize EX Pokemon and hopefully we can take down LDF two episodes in a row. Don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content and support my channel using PoTownStore.com for all of your PTCG Live code card needs. Dragon Shield sleeves, the best sleeves in the game. PokemonCard.io for creating deck lists and sharing them with the community. And Into the AM, outfitting your passion. Find coupon codes and links in the description down below. Alrighty then, let's get into this match. I'm honestly really excited to see what Luke got for his Pokemon. Dundozo start, yo, the Dundozo, he got water too. If we both got Surfing Pikachu, that'd be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> All right, there's that. We can go here, do this, play the rope. All right, this is actually pretty good. So I'm going to Irida for, gad for Gather the Crew, Basculin, and also a Battle Pass, I think. Oh, but Curl Up could knock me out. Let's get Basculin and Rare Candy. That's the move, there we go. We figured it out. Play down Basculin, attach Retreat, and then gather the crew. And we'll get another Magikarp and a Squirtle. Another Tats, we'll have to take that. Here we go, Judge. We need to get the Surfing Pikachu V. Can we do it? We do get the Surf. Yeah, well, let's go, let's go. Broken Judge, all right, let's go. Could have also built up Articuno, but I definitely think we just want to load up Pikachu. We'll check our prizes. We do have Beeboro, Alakazam. All right, the gang's all here. Let's uh, load them up with energy. Surfing Pikachu VMAX, got it. And that's Lightning-type, so that's going to be pretty bad for my Gyarados EXs. 
We could get a mill tank because that can just kind of sit out there. But yeah, I think I'll just get mill tank and attach and then we have to just sit here and wait to draw into some better cards it looks like. Uh, I'll get another Squirtle. Could retreat and the other Tassigiri play Melanie. What I'm gonna do, I think. I might actually start attacking with Pikachu now. Yeah, I think this is fine. We're actually, I'm just gonna retreat into the Pikachu and then we're gonna Melanie to it. I'm gonna power it up now. All right, we got Bidoof. There we go. Ventrard Akuno will attach. And then we will Surf for the knockout. Yo, Surf and Pikachu, baby. Let's go. Get that first prize. Let's take number three. I'm feeling lucky. Try to buy some time. Let's evolve the Gyarados CX. That's just a pass. So we can go VMAX here. I like that. So let's do this Ultra Ball. Yeah. I kind of like going VMAX right here, right now. Because we can actually knock out his Magikarp and we threaten his bench. I know we don't kill the Mill Tank, but it's actually kind of cool that we can kill the Carp. I'm not going to do anything else. Knock out that Magikarp. Just take out one of his Carps. The less Gyarados he has, the better. Uh Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. I was going to say, what just happened? I thought the game like froze for a sec. That got me worried. We got another Gyarados. That's not going to help at all. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for me. I think just a pass. Yeah, we can just go Beeberl, catch to Dondozo. See if we can get a boss here, knock out Gyarados. Nope. It's going to max Surfer again. We're just going to force Luke to get the Rare Candy Blastoise here. We need this Gyarados to survive. Oh, the Gyarados actually, the, the Terra is coming in clutch here. We're not taking damage on the bench. So I get a boss's orders. Let's boss up Beeberl and pass. Unfortunately, looks like my judge did damage. Oh, we have a switch. Yeah, might as well play that. Go Pikachu. Uh, we can Beeberl. Draw a card. And then we'll just Max Surfer for the knockout here, I think. Probably could have Serenaed away the Nest Ball, actually. But we take out both the Squirtles, completely killing off his draw engine. And then next turn, we just have to attack with Dondozo. Okay, there we go. So we can attach here. And then we'll Ultra Ball away, Crabominable, and Gyarados EX. And get another Squirtle and route for 110. So let's go Beach Court. Play the Serena. I could also just Articuno here. Which is probably fine. No energy. We got a level ball. How much energy do I have left in the deck? Three plus a four steel stone. Okay. If we don't get it, we don't get it. We'll just draw an energy one time. No, Alakazane. We'll hit him with the Articuno. We'll hit him with a wild freeze and paralyze him here. Wild Freeze for 70 and Paralyze the Mill Tank. Battle Pass, that doesn't do anything for me. We just have to pass there. Melanie. Got another Judge. Not much left to do. All right, we'll just knock him out. Yeah, that, uh, it does not look good. Oh, and now we get the research. Now we get the research. Now we can't even do much with it. <laughs> Oh, man, you know what? I'm gonna take a prize card. So, battle the water, battle the battle the the watery Pokemon. We both got water decks, so it actually makes things interesting. We both got our water decks. All right, all right. So we take game number one, game number one with Pikachu. Let's go. We take those. Close game, Cl close game. <laughs> okay, I think I can work with this. Maybe the mill tank will slow them down enough. Uh, the issue is. I don't really have any support Pokemon in this deck. Uh, so let's go ahead attach Nest Ball for Magikarp and Nest Ball for Squirtle. We have to hope he doesn't get Irida off of Judge. If he gets Irida, he can get Rare Candy Blastoise. So we do have a couple of energy prize. Hopefully Judge gets us an energy here. This rope could be pretty saving actually, because if, if I whiff the energy, I think he could have routed me for the knockout. All right, Judge, even if he whiff, he can't, unless he has a switch, he can't knock him out of the tank. But thankfully we didn't whiff. We got the energy and we can build up our surfing Pikachu with the broken Tatsugiri. I could have used Tatsugiri for my deck. I, I should have used this. Uh, I would have been attaching only to Magikarp, so maybe that wouldn't have been good. I think I have to do this and attach her treat. And now I wait to top deck a rare candy. We're just playing the waiting game. I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna do our attack again. I don't really wanna I don't really wanna play judge here. There's really no reason to judge. Here. Oh, that's not what we want. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this. Put uh damage on each of the surfing Pikas and turn. Hey, there's the V Max. Weird play. I'm tempted to curl up here. Hit him for no. 
I don't. I kind of want him to kill me. I just pass. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Top deck. No. <laughs> no. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bench that. We're gonna curl up. We're gonna whack him in the face for 30 damage. Okay. <laughs> just a little bit of a curl up. There we go. Boss. Oh, um, yeah, I don't have anything good to do with boss. My judges are doing a lot of work right now. We can actually just keep, <laughs> funny enough, we can literally just keep curling up here over and over again, smacking the mill tank in the face, going to the other test gear. We can just keep doing this over and over again. Wait, can I take a knockout? Oh my goodness, I can knock something out. We're going to knock out the Badoof. We're out. Let's go. KO the Badoof. We're taking prize cards, knocking out the draw support. Come on, give me something good here. It's another water energy. Gosh, dang it. We're just going to keep curling him up here until we can pick away this mill tank to knock it out. Like, I'm actually totally fine with this. Yep, another curl up. I'm so glad I put this mill tank in here. It's the only thing keeping me alive. Not more energy. No, anything but more energy. How much is this doing? 50. Just missing it. Yeah, we have nothing to do but route. I mean, we could retreat into the Halucha and save the mill tank to put up there when surfing Pikachu comes up because this damage doesn't really matter. So yeah, we'll just put out this Halucha and pass. That's where I judge. I need to, I'm going to try to build up another attacker if I can. Just now we want to find boss and an attacker. All right, there we go. We got Dundozo. That's one of the ones I was looking for. I was looking for the Dundozo. So we can do our first attack and build it up. I did judge him though. So, I mean, that might help him. Obviously we don't like that, but that's fine. Okay, Irida, we finally... But we've waited a long time, Blastoise. We've waited a long time. And then I will use Vitality Spring. Search for up to six energies. We actually don't even have six energies in our deck. What the heck? Okay, so this needs five for its big attack. One, two, three, four. We'll also put one on Mill Tank. And that ends my turn. You drew another judge. Might as well play it. No reason not to. Play the extra judge. Okay. You can get much off that judge. We'll just curl up, I guess. I have Serena. I could bring up a Pikachu. Okay, I'm gonna get Crabominable down. I just need him to not have boss for one more turn. I think we're gonna gamble it. We're gonna go ahead and Vitality Spring. Get three energies onto the Crabominable. And please let this Gyarados live one more turn. Okay, you know what? I think we go Pikachu. I think this is the time we just hit him with the Pikachu. We get damage on the board. We get some damage on the crab to make it easier to KO. I think I have to take the first knockout. Oh man, this does exactly enough damage, right? I know it does way more than enough. And then we'll use Tyrannical Tail for 360 damage. I could go Alakazam. I guess I could go Alakazam. I could go Alakazam and put Dan. I can knock out Miltank. Do we want to knock out Miltank? Yeah, sure. I didn't need to mention that. That's not bad. All right, yeah, let's take out this mill thing. So let's take a nice little cheeky three prize turn here. Hold the hand at Max Surfer. KO Gyarados. And now the crab gets KO'd in one hit by Pikachu. So this, this kind of works out. Yeah, that was a pretty good turn. Let's nest ball and see what we've got going on. So we have our Radiant Alakazam. We don't have more bosses orders though. That's the problem. Okay, so we have to water gun this surfing Pikachu. Hold on to the boss. Hope that he doesn't have boss. I wanted to boss this up. Dang, this Crabominable will get perfect KO'd. Yeah, because Destroyer Punch, we don't, we just don't have enough damage to move around the board. Oh man. All right, Water Gun, here we go. I got no Gus, actually pretty bad. <laughs> I think we're gonna lose. Uh, we'll use down two Gus. I think we're gonna lose. I could rope here. Anything he brings in with rope is good. So let's play the escape rope actually. I think playing rope is correct. Because anything, anything he brings in is going to get stuck in the active. So now he needs a switch and a boss to win. Not the Melanie. There's the, there's the Gus. We have the Gus for next turn. We have the Gus for next turn, which is good. And now we just pray he doesn't have a switch and a Gus. And if he does, we lose. So we're hoping he doesn't have switch Gus here. Yeah, okay. We're still, we're hoping for another no boss turn here. That should be game. We chew the ultra ball. So we can actually knock him out with Dondozo here. Which is actually kind of sick. Yeah, Dundozo from KO. That's pretty cool. So we bring in the crab and we take the win. Let's go. We won. We beat Luke 2 0 with the surfing Pikachu deck. Yo, shout out to Don Dozo. Release Rage does it. Yes, sir. GG.
Oh man, we were so close. Probominable. Uh.